Legends live on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Kichigumi. Superior, they say, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and crew were a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came for The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, she was bigger than most with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms, she left fully loaded for Cleveland. Then later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Well, the wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the railing. And every man knew, as the captain did too, t'was a witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late, and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain. In the face of a hurricane west wind When supper time came, the old cook came on deck Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya So the captain wired in he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew were in peril. But later that night, when the lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if she'd put fifteen more miles behind her. They might have split up, they might have capsized, they may have broke deep into water. Now all that remains are the faces and names of the wives, the sons, and the daughters. So Lake Huron rolls, Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. And old Michigan steams like a young man's dream. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. Then farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know with the gales of November remembered. musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. And the church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legends live on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Kitchigumi. Superior, they say, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early.